With your look around the Air Force, I'm Technical Sergeant Shandresha Mitchell. Large commercial rockets may become the newest way for the Department of Defense to deliver supplies to warfighters around the world. That's the aim of the Rocket Cargo Vanguard program. The Air Force Research Lab will explore the viability of using commercial rockets to be outfitted with cargo bays, use airdrop capabilities, and to land near personnel and buildings safely. It's the fourth Vanguard program in the Department of the Air Force 2030 Science and Technology Strategy to advance emerging warfighting concepts through prototyping and experimentation. Arctic Challenge Exercise 21 is a Norwegian Air Force-led event taking place in Sweden, Finland, and Norway. We'll be flying local sorties with the different partner nations in the morning goes, and in the afternoon goes, we'll integrate into large force exercises with the Swedish, Norway, Finland, and our other NATO partners and our Nordic ally partners. The Arctic Challenge exercise provides the opportunity to practice planning, executing, and evaluating interoperability while providing a strong deterrent message to would-be aggressors. Two weather squadrons supporting the Indo-Pacific Theater have been redesignated as Combat Weather Squadrons, or CWS. Leaders from the 607 CWS in Camp Humphreys, Republic of Korea, and the 1st CWS in Joint Base Lewis-McChord, Washington, say the name change more accurately reflects their mission, which includes deploying alongside the Army. The combat designation sets the units apart from other weather squadrons and will require learning warrior skills that aren't usually part of training for weather airmen. The 1st has personnel at six locations across the Indo-Pacific, while the 607th provides environmental intelligence to U.S. Forces Korea and 8th Army. And that's your look around the Air Force.